Welcome to the Protagonist Pub. My name is Tammy, and this is where characters gather. Today, we are going to review The Do-Over by Sharon M. Peterson. This was her first published book. I, at the time of recording it, I finished this book last night. And it is as amazing and completely different than the fake out. They are not related. They are completely different stories. And I am so very glad I read this. Um, so the do over tells the story of Percy and it tells the story of Percy over a year and the book starts off at a uh, New Year's Eve and she's with her best friend and he her best friend is, is Matthias he helps her make an anti-New Year's resolution list and on this list, she's not supposed to try, you know, eat well and lose weight. She's not supposed to continue to try to do better at her job and always try and please people. She's not supposed to give in to her mother. It's a list of things not to do versus a list of resolutions she knows she's going to fail at. And at first, the year starts and she's completely capitulating to her mother and she's giving it at work and she's ignoring the list and she's miserable you can you can see she is miserable she is your quintessential 28 year old people pleaser and she does not value herself enough to say no. And I know what you're thinking. Tammy, you cannot stand characters like that. And you're right. I absolutely have zero patience with the whiny, lack of self-respect character trope. But I trust Sharon enough that I continued. And I'm so glad I did because that is not at all what this book is. That is not who Percy is. Through the course of this book, Percy learns to be true to herself. She helps her little sister Fee. She has a giant blow up argument that's made public with her mother. She may or may not fall in love with her next door neighbor. She may or may not be pub publicly broken up with over the radio. Uh, this is just a delightful read. I read this in one sitting after a very tough weekend of me DNFing books right and left. I picked this one up and immediately lost myself in it. And this is, there is some swearing in it. I'm not going to lie. There is kissing, but it is all closed door and it is what I would consider a clean romance. The swearing is situational. It isn't anything bad or overly offensive. At least it wasn't for me. And I don't remember it being more than a couple, maybe five instances of it. I wasn't also keeping track. This book is incredibly impactful. I am, in general not one that thinks a book has to have representation to have value. I am not one that thinks that the only way I can find 
or see myself in a book is if it's a character like me in some respect. I think every character has a little bit of everybody in them to some extent. The good, the bad, the ugly. And in this case, our heroine Percy is plus size. She's a people pleaser. She is has incredible feelings of a lack of self-worth. And a lot of us can relate to that. And a lot of us can see ourselves in that. And the fact that she's plus size has no bearing. It affects her mother's behavior towards her. But the same story could have been told if she had been anorexic and her mother was always trying to force food on her versus being plus size and her mother always trying to force her to diet and lose weight. That representation could have been flipped and the story would have been just as impactful. And this is a non... This is a secular book. However, at the very core of this book is a book that keeps popping up on my Instagram feed. I haven't, I haven't read it. I have no doubt it's wonderful. And it is, and I'll put a picture of it right here. I'm probably going to butcher the title. How See Yourself as God Sees You. Pictures right here. It's published by Ascension Press. You can get the first chapter for free. I will leave a link down below. And at its core, that is what Percy learns. To love herself for who she truly is. And, 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 and God sees our true self. So she's learning to, to love herself as God loves her. And it is a beautiful story. It is funny. It is sweet. It is uplifting. And I, to the best of my knowledge, Sharon only has two books. I've read them both this year. I am so looking forward to her third book. I have no idea when that will be. You know I will be here for it as soon as it releases. Her writing is fantastic. And her writing is strong female characters who are true to themselves and who either already know themselves or find themselves and go, you know what? I like me. I like who I am. And if you don't like it, that's fine. But I'm still going to be me. And I cannot say enough good things about the do-over. It is a phenomenal book. It is not getting the love it needs and deserves. And if you love grandparent figures, Mimi is the grandmother in this book. And she has Mimi-isms, which are her sayings, and they're hysterically funny. And she is a great character. She leaps off the page and into your heart. And I can now understand why, you know, Sharon says everyone loves Mimi. Because, yeah, everyone loves Mimi. So, run, don't walk, go pick up this book on Kindle, buy a hard copy. You will be thrilled. Leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, and I will see you here next time at the Protagonist Pub.